to Andy and Dave Daly right here on the Muskegon channel. I'm Andy O'Reilly. There's Dave Cackley. Look at uh, Thursday. It's Thursday, right? Yeah. Oh, yes. God. Very cold, as you can tell by the fact that I'm wearing a hat. It is cold out. And um, I was I actually um, trophy husbanding here this morning. Uh, uh -huh. Not only did I get up a couple hours early and, and knock a bunch of work out of the way, swept the bathroom floor and washed rugs. Oh my goodness! Look right. at you. So what else? Okay, did you do like phys? I mean, because honestly, I I don't. That's that's a little girly. What, what, what man work did you do? Well, I I got some publishing done that's uh, ready to go for the weekend, so that's good. Well, that's um, not man work, though. That's well, yeah, still, it is. Public, what, hey, man, I'm talking about talking about. Listen, listen, you know, no, I'm a captain of real the industry work. publishing here. Uh, let's let's not. I belittle my work okay i'm not belittling it i'm saying man like see i got calluses this is from doing man work you, if you could see that at all you yeah, know what that's what I from that ain't see, man work ha, 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 ha. <laughs> no it's from illegal channels no 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 no. i'm just saying i i just i was curious because that's good that you helped that you you did your part yes you know you you know so you, i swept to become one uh, and you I, I, yes. I not only did i sweep okay I took the rugs out and shook them out first and then threw them in the laundry. Yeah. My mom, my mom did that. Uh, uh, still does that. And how old's your mom? For, she's done. She's 80. She's going to be 87. And she's been doing that. For, she's been doing it. She's been doing that for over 60, for over well, 60 years. I get that. But maybe, you know, maybe it's time that you grab a hold of the, uh, the, the no, hammer I do lawn and, care. Oh, you do the oh, lawn I care. Do, I, well, it's not a I lot do, of that I to do. Care, I take care of lawn. In the winter time, I know, and then you, you do, do a little bit of shoveling here and there. You know, mm -hmm. that's me. Again, well, I'm just saying. That's how you, you know, again, that's how you get calluses. Being being a you know? a, a freeloader, you could you could maybe wash a rug once in a oh, while. I'm just just saying, there's, right? There's no so, there's no freeloading. Oh, okay. Trust me. Whatever. All right. Whatever. Yeah. So, all right. Anyway, that I, call me hero, call me uh, trophy husband, call me arm candy, whatever you want. I don't care. It's I good. Know. Um. And yesterday I told you I wanted to uh, uh, revisit a topic that we've been touching on a little more. Oh, and yeah. And that is ancient history and how little right. we know of each other. And yes. uh, of our of our real history as, as, as a mm -hmm. species on this planet, right? Mm -hmm. And I wanted to go back <clears throat> and um, watch the show again because for the longest time, all of this ancient history stuff has been kind of on the fringe, Right. You've, yeah, you've got the ancient aliens now. thing. You've got mm -hmm. the people who are advanced researchers. And some of it's theoretical. Some of it's kind of maybe um, a myth. I don't know. Uh, but the evidence is stacking up that there's a lot more out there that we don't know. And these guys have been knocking right. on the door of academia for forever. And the proof's really starting to come out that we, we don't know crap right pbs is jumping on board and there is a documentary on pbs it's nova um and they're doing a thing called sky tombs and this is an archaeological thing that's going on through the himalayas and himalayan burial traditions are so different than than what we know um, and they go back thousands of years to find these caves that were dug at one point the, the the hills as they fall as the hills fall away body parts are falling out of these caves and guys are going up there now and digging up bones and whatever they were buried with and putting these all back together to figure out the history of the people that have come through this mm -hmm. thing the evidence that is presented in this documentary of how advanced trade routes were between asia and europe is mind-boggling I mean, outside of not having jets, these people were trading just like we do today. It took a while, but mm -hmm. China and Europe, they were trading back and forth, right. all around. Um, and then they start digging into the history of burial. And you know what they, you know what they do in Tibet even still today? No idea. If somebody dies, they don't bury them. They take them out to a pile of rocks they deflesh them and they feed them to vultures so the body can't come back as a zombie this still goes on 
and they they trace well, it back. You know, well, I get no, hang that. on, hang on. I, I, I get, I'm, no, I'm getting there. I'm, I'm serious. I get that. They they get that back. actually makes sense. The first thing that happens in, in this in this in this uh, in this group of people is when it, when a person dies, they break their back on the spot. They snap their spine so they can't get back up. Ooh, creepy enough. Then they take them out to a pile outside of town and let the birds eat them. All right. So this started way back when. And they start mm-hmm. to show you the cuts on the bones where they're defleshing them and all this other stuff. And then they start really tracing it to these people who live in the Himalayas and have an extra DNA match. It dates back 44,000 years to when a human bred with a human almost ancestor that wasn't quite a human. Okay. And they have an extra genome factor that lets them mm-hmm. live at those high altitudes. And that okay. human that that some that it that human ancestor that a, that a that a Homo sapien bred with forty four thousand years ago was from Siberia. Can how can academia sit there and deny that? Uh, here's the proof. I mean, here it is. We traced it back to one, mm-hmm. and and they still want to argue it. I don't get oh, it. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't have a problem with arguing. It's, it, you can argue it. You just can't be dis. I don't have a problem with arguing against that. I don't have an issue with arguing against that. I have a problem with completely dismissing it. Right. And that's the issue. You, you can argue against, say, well, it could have been blah, 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 and that's fine. But to just dismiss it out of hand. And it's interesting that that um, that PBS or NPR would be highlighting this. It's coming. Um, the truth is coming. They would be. They were dry. I mean, they because those are the type of people that would be typically poo pooing that and saying, "Oh, come on," and uh, eye rolling and making you seem like a nutcase for even bringing it up. Forty four thousand so, um, years ago, uh, and can you imagine this? Forty four thousand years ago, you show up with a date, and it's not even your own species. And today, we're worried about skin color. I mean, imagine that. Well, think about, well, we're not really worried about skin color today. I mean, some people I know are, that, most but... people aren't. But, but no, but think about just, was it last summer, the summer before where it actually came out? We, we found uh, a craft that was not of this earth. There, it was well, not well, of this no. planet. It there was are, not. There are seven or nine of them. That yes, are supposed to be on and Earth that planet. how that was not front page news forever. Yeah, it just kind of gets lost, uh, Go. and nobody people Dude. still. I still don't think people are are comfortable discussing it or really even thinking about. It. Go back. Go they back to, to when. Um, oh, what's that guy's name? Um, when he we talked about Element One Fifteen, that he was reverse engineering. Yeah. at at. At Groom Lake. That was what's his face? Uh, what's uh, his name? Um, it's. Uh, I'm blanking on it. Uh, well, anyway, uh, it'll come. Uh, yeah, it'll come. I, but yeah. hey, he he talked about element 115 before it was even on the periodic table. Yeah. Uh, that was so, yeah. That I mean, was amazing. This is this stuff. It's coming. And that and, dude had his life ruined. Oh my god. <laughs> And still, like they, still they still they still raise. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. They still. And, and, and you know it, what? It, it, He's in oh, Michigan. Jesus. He's right here in Michigan. I didn't know that. Oh yeah, yeah. Bob uh, Lazar. Bob Lazar. Yes. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh man. Yeah. It's just. Yeah. You know it's... what? Do you know why they raid him? Still. Because he knows some of that. He's got some element. He, he got some of it out of there. He he's got element one fifteen mm-hmm. somewhere. Oh, there's, so, uh, yeah, it's, it's, cat and mouse it's stuff, amazing. 41,000 years and again, ago, humans. Uh, and why, we're, we're, go ahead. The human, the human species, we're 2,023 years old. No, we're not. Why, why I encourage everybody to, to take a look and because it's super interesting, it's fascinating. You learn things and it doesn't, again, regardless of what your faith is doesn't have anything to do I'm with it. I'm a Christian doesn't have anything to do. It doesn't disprove any of that. Nope. 
this just adds to the this just adds to the human story yes it does what it is it doesn't it doesn't disprove any of your beliefs it doesn't have to upend your belief system it just is an interesting add-on to what you already believe or already know there or maybe it. it changes your mind on some things and that's that's fine too don't don't be afraid of new information what, it's what we to need to of. do is wake people up to the idea that as a species we have amnesia and yes, it all 100%. seems to center and this this is coming from writings of every culture around the earth mm -hmm. cataclysm is the common denominator at some point almost every single or every single place on earth talked about cataclysm and it was all a flood mm -hmm. some talked about fire um but mostly it's flood so this earth was flooded at one point mostly around the ice age and that's mm -hmm. where we have our amnesia. And that's where we don't yeah. know how far humanity got up till that point. Well, people just get freaked out over over stuff like that. Anything yeah. that is it, that sh could potentially shake up or, or they believe could potentially shake up their worldview. I still remember when I saw what I saw back in the early 90s. Yep. Uh, I, I still I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was a UFO or if it was something just crazy that the green object that stayed and then shot out. And then the girl I was with, I was dating at the time, said I don't want to talk about it. Was just would would did not want to discuss it. Wanted to pretend that she didn't witness it. And um, it's just it it scares people. You keep up with her, at and all? I get it. It's, say again. You know where she's at now. I uh, no, I have no idea. Okay. No clue. That was, you know, dude. What? That was third. That was over. That was like thirty years ago. Well, you might be creeping I, I on her Facebook page. I don't know what you're doing at night. I, I mean, I see your data limit gets hit every month, but I, uh, I oh, whatever. Let's 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 not go there. All right, let's get into it. You you were uh, dismissive and pretended to be bored at this story. I, we touched on this yesterday, but it it has to be the top story. The goat finally calling it a career again. One year after announcing his retirement, the first time before coming back to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers NFL legend, Tom Brady said in a social media post yesterday that he is officially done playing professional football after 23 years at the age of 45, uh, 10 Super Bowl appearances, seven championships, mm -hmm. virtually every passing record that has ever been or will ever exist. Next stop, obviously, the Hall of Fame. And the reason I, I bring this up again is because this man, when it comes to sports, was the ultimate overachiever. It shows what you can do in any walk of life, whatever your profession is, whatever your career is. You can be this if you're willing to work hard, if you're willing to sacrifice, and in Tom's case, willing to, you know, basically ignore your wife and your kids. Which, you know, again, a lot of people who are, are high achievers like this at, at, to the nth degree, you, you don't really have, uh, we, we all kind of struggle. We, we search for that work-life balance. The people who are really super talented and super great at this one thing, at this one, they tend to let these other things, maybe the more important things, go by the wayside. But at the same time, there is, a, I, there is something to be admired about being that great in that profession for that long in a way that's never ever been done before so whatever well, you do in whatever walk of life it's just if you're able to do it like that i would take my hat off to you for you but uh it's it's too cold too okay well let's point out today too that ozzy retired yesterday kiss my retired. brother brought that up I, 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 kiss retired 20 years ago um <laughs> it, so. that's a that's okay. a little different. Ozzy, Ozzy's career was over with the Osbournes. I go back to the second the Osbournes. I'm sorry, no more Prince of Darkness. <laughs> it would come on, come on, Ozzy. It's, and you been, know what? it's been over Ozzy's for two decades. Nobody told days you. are over. That doesn't mean Ozzy's uh -huh. residence days in some Vegas right. hotel. Oh yeah. God, yeah, oh, guaranteed. <laughs> you got it. So, thanks, Tom Brady, for your retirement. Now we're going to yeah. start seeing him next to Shaquille O'Neal in every deodorant ad and uh, copiers. Yeah, I don't and, mean interesting. Here's, well, here's the interesting thing. He signed a contract with Fox Sports. Ten year, his last year with the Bucks, he made $30 million. He signed a, a – and keep in mind, the guy's got no TV experience. Right. 
He signed a 10-year deal with Fox Sports, $375 million. He's going to make $37 million Unbelievable. his first year in retirement. And, and God bless him. That's what happens when you... Let's not forget about his movie career, career where, you know what? Sally Field's <laughs> oh, yeah. in the cast. Oh, oh, don't, no. Oh, don't. He could hook himself up with a sugar you mama can... now. Ooh. Oh, God. I'm 80 sorry. for yeah, Brady. Okay. I bet you got your tickets uh, already, don't you? No, no, you know what? My mom is going to that, though. My mom is going to see You're 80 for Brady. Her. No, no chance. Yeah. I, I You're going to be looking at Rita that. Moreno I going, hey, food. baby. I'm, you know what? I, all the I respect in the you world of those company. fine actresses, with the exception <laughs> of Sally Field, because I've found her off-putting and no, horrendous Sally Field rules. forever. She's going to carry no, the movie. She almost ruined, she almost ruined Smokey and the Bandit. No, That's how bad she no, was. She's going to carry the movie. Thank you. She played. She essentially played herself as Abraham Lincoln's wife in Lincoln. That was the only. I wasn't even acting. Look, pal, you're talking uh, about Forrest Gump's mom. Be careful. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Moving on. The mood of the nation is not good. This, according to the latest Gallup poll, only 36 percent of Americans say they are satisfied with the government's policy issues. Only 25 percent are satisfied with the current state of the economy. Public education. And efforts to combat poverty and homelessness are also near record lows. It's amazing. I mean, we've got more creature comforts than we've ever had. People barely have to work anymore. Uh, granted, the economy sucks, but, you know, I mean, that's a can we're going to keep kicking down the road forever. Uh, but people need to just do something with their life. Yeah. You know, you got you to gotta, you gotta have some meaning. You got to do something. You can't – and you just do that. You want to need, don't worry about don't worry about the kind don't worry about what the government is. I mean, they shouldn't have that big an impact on your life. They really should. Here, here's a here's a point to ponder too. All this dissatisfaction that you're you're mm -hmm. experiencing in your life between the government and this, that, and the other thing, all this dissatisfaction is being paid for so you feel this way. It's coming to you through your social media and it is being done is, yeah. to continue the argument between all of us. Okay, it's coming from mm -hmm. enemies, both foreign and domestic. It's been going on for a while. Um, I've calmly and carefully tried to describe this to you for a couple of years, and, and not only you, but other listeners. Uh, but this is this is paid, divisive stuff that's being fed to you through your magic screen. So, mm -hmm. with that dissatisfaction, and a little caveat from your buddy Andy, who might know a little bit more about social media than the average bear, um, Put that into your into your teacup and let it steep. So there you. I've have. never I've never denied that. No, I've I didn't I know you have. But I'm just, I'm, I, I, and you jumping in there those... with you know it's not my fault, just like you always do. No, I didn't Perfect. say it's not my fault, but uh, it was one of those things that you and I were on the same page on. We may differ with uh, what uh, who's doing more of it and in which direction is is giving you more disinformation or misinformation or what whatever. But yeah, that's why I think. It's that's one of the reasons I like to turn. I like to just shut it down for long do. periods of time I know because do. and I do it and I do it for my own sanity, because even if you're even if if what you're viewing is good, yeah. you can get you can get overly saturated with with good stuff yes, you that can. can. You know, that's why with a lot of it, I, I like to I like to go just I like to listen to something interesting or entertaining or, or something that's funny. Watch old comedies. Do that. It's. Andy it's Griffith better show. it's better for your mental it's better for your mental that's that's not bad either that's right there you go like three's company if you if you want a double dose of don knots although let's not sleep on the ropers uh as a part you know see in the early mm. in the early part of that show i got stanley mm. roper i you know what i might give stanley roper the edge over mr furley that mm. maybe that's another maybe that's another maybe that's controversial i All don't right. know right. finally Less than two weeks to Valentine's Day. I, th I was amazed to find this out. This is shocking to me. Candy corn, the number one Valentine's Day candy for Michiganders. Number two is, of course, the heart shop, heart shop, heart shaped box of chocolates. Nebraska, <clears throat> the only gross, the huh. only other state that has candy corn at number one. I thought that was just a Halloween abomination, but evidently candy it's corn? infiltrated. Really? Yeah, I thought I thought that was That's just not right. No, That's it is. News. No, it's not. 
No, I don't it's know. not. Where did you get this? 100 percent. Whoever wrote that's an idiot. Oh, don't never, never question my sources. I just anyway, the average American spends a little, a little under 145 dollars on Valentine's Day. Really, 145 bucks on Valentine's Day candy well, this year? Why? You can make it up to me for all the years you haven't got me anything. So let's go 150. Uh, I, well, you're maybe. not. Well, nice box of cigars would be wonderful. No, just thanks. saying. All right. Sports, uh, Michigan takes on Northwestern College Hoops tonight, 7 p.m. tip-off at sports. Supreme Court cases for $400. You ready? Right. See, I got my readers on this. today, so I'm... Oh, I like, dude, I think you should wear those the whole time. It gives you Problem uh, is, the the erroneous air of, uh, of uh, being intellect. intellectual. Right. Yeah. I like this look. Look at that. No, put it. Put them on right. Don't have them hanging off the bridge of your nose. All right. Supreme Court case is 400. 1964, a little matter with the First Amendment, this newspaper versus Sullivan. Kind of plus versus Sullivan? Here, here, here comes the mover. You ready? This newspaper, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess. I'm not 100% sure. I'm possibly wrong. I'm going to guess the New York Times. Oh, my God. Give it to him. That was a guess. 27,600. Look at you. Up with people kind of day. Dave Cackley. What can I say? You are a man among I men. Just swung. Yourself. I just swung. I just made a, I just made the decision. I'm swinging at this one. You and did. I knocked it out. Out of here. Gone. What See ya. Say? On to Friday. See ya. Welcome back, Muskegon. We have an Arctic front that will move through the area later today, so let's look at your forecast brought to you by Trendy Health. Starting off with your weather headlines, like I said, an Arctic front will move through right around dinner time, which may bring us some snow squalls, a brief moment in time though around dinner, and then after that, colder air will follow, bringing minor lake effect snow for the rest of Thursday night going into Friday morning but that will be short-lived as we have a warm-up on the way this weekend. So taking a look at the future radar, you can see by 9 a.m. Thursday morning, we'll have snow well to the north of us, so we'll actually be dry and maybe even sunny here in Muskegon County, but then clouds will increase throughout the day by the time this Arctic front arrives, around 5 or 6 or so. And because of that, we may have some bursts of snow in the evening hours, so the evening commute could have some snow squalls moving through, but those will be very brief, lasting only five to 10 minutes or so. And then once that goes through, we'll have lake effect snow start to kick off Thursday evening, lasting through Friday morning, but accumulations should be pretty minor. So speaking of accumulations, this is the snowfall through 7 a.m. on Friday. So we're not expecting a whole lot, especially here in Muskegon, with a dominant band possibly setting up from Grand Haven all the way to around Kalamazoo or so. so they could see over an inch of snow, but here in Muskegon, we should stay less than an inch. Now, temperature-wise today, we'll likely be in the upper 20s, so about what we were yesterday, with a little bit of sunshine in the morning and then more clouds later in the day. So for your Thursday, expect a high of 28 with partly cloudy skies and then more clouds later in the day once that Arctic front approaches. And then we could see some snow squalls around dinner time, but those won't be too impactful. And then lake effect snow will follow with a very cold low of 5 degrees. But the longer term forecast has warmer weather arriving this weekend and following into next week as well. So it looks like temperatures will moderate pretty quickly this weekend going into next week with temperatures mostly in the 30s and maybe even the 40s. But in the meantime, temperatures will be cold, like I said, with the lows getting into the single digits for Thursday night and Friday night with a high of only 13 on Friday with some lake effect snow, especially in the morning. And it looks like this weekend will be dry with mostly cloudy, if not overcast skies, but temperatures will quickly warm up into the mid thirties with maybe some rain showers next Tuesday. And that's your forecast brought to you by Trinity Health on Muskegon channel and Lime Cone Woods weather and enjoy your day today.